Here we are with my 1022 takedown and uh, I'll give you a little bit of history. I'm a terrible shot and um, so really I figured that the only way I could improve my accuracy would be to remove the scope uh, thereby making it much harder for me to hit a target and uh, forcing me to shoot better. So uh, I'm going to take this scope off and uh, I've got a Got a pair of, um, what do you, what do you, what do you, what do you call it? Fire sights. So, uh, I'm going to take, take the scope off, add the fire sights because uh, I was bright enough to uh, throw out the old sights when I put the scope on. Um, so, I don't know if, uh, if you YouTube viewers have seen any videos of monkeys trying to solve a, a Rubik's Cube, but that's going to be a lot like uh, me trying to take this scope off and put the, uh, the other sights on. So, I don't know if it was clear to the viewers at home, but uh, I had some technical difficulties. So uh, they say a poor workman can't blame his tools, but turns out that the uh, croquet mallet I brought uh, was not quite as effective as a regular hammer, and uh, even less so was this random piece of metal. So uh, although I succeeded in getting the scope off, I am uh, still having a little bit of trouble with the uh, the iron side. So I'm going to go uh, maybe to the shop, grab a vise, and uh, grab a hammer. Now, taking a little walk here to the shop. Uh, I'll give you a rundown. I cannot get the iron sights off uh, with the table and the mallet. So I figured maybe we'll grab a hammer and uh, give her a couple of whacks. If that doesn't work, I... Uh, Probably just put the scope back on and quit. Call it a day. So here we are in the shop. Um, feels a little bit particular to uh, to actually put the vise on the barrel of the gun. Might have squeezed too hard, but uh, I'm of the school that, that if it don't work, hit it real hard with a hammer. So uh, we're going to go ahead and just whale away on this thing and uh, maybe something will pop off. I don't know. Let's give it a shot. Henry Dunn here, D-U-N-N, -N, and uh, turn the camera off. I got a little frustrated. I've been uh, wailing away at this thing with a hammer. Uh, hopefully I didn't bend the barrel. Uh, watching these videos on YouTube and uh, sure looks simple. They uh, pop it right off. So uh, I'm just going to whack away at it a little bit longer than give up uh, because I, I'd like to get out in the woods today. So maybe we'll put the scope back on. We'll call it an educational video and uh, that'll be that. So bear with me just a little bit longer. Henry Dunn here, that's D-U-N-N, -N. and uh, after a hard-fought battle, I uh, was able to get the back end of the sight on. Now, um, I don't know if you can see, but I really banged the heck out of the front end and could not get it to go. So, um, in the interest of time today, I'd like to take this out, see if I can adjust the windage, whatever windage is, and... Um, Get it so it would hit a can, so we can get out there and try to shoot some squirrels today. So here we are. I uh, I really hope I don't have to adjust anything on this gun, um, because I'm just not very good at that. So uh, I'm starting to think this whole tutorial, educational video uh, might not be my forte. But let's see if I can hit the broadside of the barn right now. Alright, now I'm going to shoot this for the first time, untested, um, 
and uh, I'd be really surprised if it hit the target. So uh, I guess we'll walk outside and uh, do a little shooting. Now when you're a terrible shot like I am, you want to use the biggest possible target you can so you can actually see where the, uh, where the bullets are flying. Try to bring staples with you if you have a staple gun. Viewers at home, I want you to understand that I have nothing against the institution of Christmas. Um, it's just what I have to work with today. No staples, no target. Uh, Saying I'll have to do today. As I suspect, we're shooting a few inches low, so uh, I'll lift this windage. That's uh, that's what you call it, and see if uh, see if we can't get a little closer to Santa's nose. Alright folks at home, we're getting a lot closer, um, you know, squirrel's going to have to be really close to me to hit it, but uh, I think we're ready to give it a try. Alright folks at home, uh, you've survived, it's only taken me uh, four short hours to, uh, to get out of these woods, and uh, as you can tell, I'm an expert in many things. Uh, gunsmithing being one of it. It only took me about two hours to add these uh, beautiful, uh, you know, iron sights uh, to my Ruger 1022 takedown. And uh, so now you've, you've survived, you've seen my professionalism, my expertise, and, uh, and here's the icing on the cakes. We're going, we're going in the woods in search of the uh, most elusive of South Central Pennsylvania game, which is the mighty uh, gray squirrel. Hold on tight.